I think it's doing a bit of a salsa on my head. <laughs> Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlers prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature. She's ready to give a frightening facial to Diane Buswell. This fiery red-haired creature is a professional dancer, vlogger and star of stage musicals. She joined the BBC Strictly Come Dancing in 2017 here in the UK. In 2018, Diane made it all the way through to the final. Let's see if she can make it through to the end with this scary partner. <laughs> Meet Gronfadorina Portentosa, or as we know her, Rini. This mighty creature is known as a Madagascar hissing cockroach. She comes from the island of Madagascar, off the coast of East Africa. Rini is seven centimetres long and can make lots of hissing sounds. So let's hear what she's got to say to Diane. Congratulations on making it to the bug snug. Thank you very much. I'm excited to be here. What do you think of the snug? Ish. It's amazing. I love it. The, the colourings really go well with my hair. Dirt. So thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you totally ready to have a live bug on your mug? I definitely wouldn't say totally ready, but I'm semi-ready. You're from Australia. Surely there's no bugs that you're afraid of. The bugs in Australia, some are deadly. So I am a little bit afraid of bugs. And at night time, my mum would literally always say, make sure you sleep with your mouth closed because you never know what's gonna creep inside your mouth. And that's always stuck with me. That's some pretty good advice. That's scary, isn't it? So I have this phobia of bugs being in my mouth. It is time to meet Rini. Oh, wow. They're huge. How many feet do they have, by the way? Insects are called hexapods, which means they have six legs, and they've got oh little claws on the end of each leg. Oh, brilliant. If I wasn't <laughs> nervous before, I'm definitely nervous now. Rini is a Madagascan hissing cockroach, or Gromfadarina portentosa. I'm glad you're saying that word and not me. So now that you've met Rini and the rest of her family, how much would you like her on your face? Not a lot, but I'm, I'm going to do it because I love a good challenge. The only thing really you've got to worry about is Madagascan hiss and cockroaches can excrete on your face. Like number ones and number twos? Both numbers, yeah. Both, both numbers. Great, okay. <laughs> we know you're going to do brilliant. Thank you. Uh, just in case you don't know, we've got to get you to sign this disclaimer. Disclaimer? Pen here. Wow, just in okay. case anything goes wrong. Okay, that makes me feel great. It's just in case they there like we go. bite you or go in your ears. Look, I'll put a smiley face up next to it as well. Thank you very Love much. for you, Rini. It's time to put the bug on your mug and let nature take its course. Who doesn't love a challenge, right? We've got some facts for you all about Rini to read on the screen above you. Uh, you've got to read them nice and slowly and clearly and correctly. And the moment you get through them all, Rini can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug Face Mug. Yes, I've always won one of those mugs. Okay. It's time for us to infest your face. Okay, <laughs> it's on your face. So can we have the first fact, please, Dan? Oh, it's a Madagascar. Cockroach. That's it, it's got to be nice and clear. It's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. One of the largest species of cockroach in the world. Is that it? Ah! Can we hear the next fact please, Dan? Fact number two. The Madagascar hissing cockroach gets its name from being able to make different hissing sounds. Can we hear fact number three, please? So you can probably open your right eye. Oh yeah, the right eye, definitely not the left, definitely not the left. Oh, that's it, buddy. You keep moving on. There we go. Gromphophorina portentosa. Forces air through tiny holes on their belly called spiracles. Oh, that word gives me the, the spiracles. <laughs> fact number four. Gromphophorina portentosa live on the forest floor, but also make great pets. Really? Brilliant. Can we have the next fact, please? Gromphophori naportinosa. I don't know if I keep after saying that word. Love to munch on fallen fruit and plant waste. 
Keep going, Diane. Don't forget the legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug could still be yours. Oh, this is, this is why I'm doing it. Can we have the next fact, please? Number six, Grofa nefarious napotina tosa have special adhesive pads and hooks on their feet. Well, I can definitely feel those, allowing them to climb even on smooth glass. That's it, keep going. Fact number seven, Grofadori Naportuntos. I feel like I change that word every time. May not have wings, but do just fine scurrying around on their six legs. Fact number eight, Grofadori Naportuntos. Can be, I feel like I'm cursing a spell, like on Harry Potter. Can be consumed by people in Madagascar. There's quite a lot of protein on them as they're quite meaty. Would you like to eat Rini here? Oh, no way, I could never eat Rini. Number nine, Groma Fedora Naportatosa can communicate through its hiss. It has three recognized forms, aggression, ooh, Courtship. It's courtship. Oh, courtship. <laughs> and disturbance. Oh, I've not heard you hiss yet, mate. Maybe it feels safe on my face. I think it's doing a bit of a salsa on my head. <laughs> Good footwork. Last fact now, you're doing really well. The male Gromophodoran aportiotosis have large horns on their head. Really? A great fighting tool for territories. All right, we've done it. I think it's time to get well done. it Well done. Ready for it to come off? Yeah. So how was that experience for you? It was a lot ticklier than I thought it was going to be, but actually I feel like we bonded. What was the worst part of the experience? <sighs> Rini grabbed my eyelid at one point and uh, yeah, that was probably the, the most uncomfortable part. And, and like I said, I have this phobia of bugs near my mouth and Rini did like my mouth a bit. But other than that, fist pump. Give a six. Six, give her, oh yeah, give her a six, a high six. <laughs> there you go, Rini. Is there any particular dance routine that you would like to teach Rini? I feel like Rini is more of a Latin dancer. Okay. Yeah, she's got some fast moves there. She was going from this side to that side, up and down. So I'm gonna go with more a salsa or even a Charleston. I reckon she could get a good Charleston swivel on her. Rini, congratulations on making it through Bugface and thank you for exploring Diane's mush. Diane, you win the legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug Face Mug. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. I can put that with all my other trophies. Thank you. That's right. Thank I'm you so much, Rini. Like thank it. you. Cheers. Don't forget you can see all of our bug faces on the BBC Earth Kids channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next bug face. Thanks for watching. <laughs>